Patrick here with Homerazzi.com, and I'm speaking with Keegan Connor Tracy. How's it going today? Hi, this is Keegan Connor Tracy, and you are on Homerazzi.com. So, most of you know Keegan Connor Tracy as the Blue Fairy and Mother Superior on Once Upon a Time, but uh, you recently embarked on a new project that is a totally different role, and it's uh, you play Miss Watson on Bates Motel, which is a new series on A&E. How is that going for you? Oh my gosh, it was great. It was a wonderful departure from playing a nun. <laughs> <laughs> And um, it was just nice. It's something I could really sort of bite off and chew. And uh, what a great set to be on and great actors to work with. It's all you can ask for. Now, tell us a little bit about the series. I know it's um, sort of a reimagination of the uh, the psycho story in Norman Bates. So just tell us a little bit about how how it tells that story and how it's different. Well, I think the, the series creators are really um, very quick to point out that they consider it to be a contemporary reimagining of you know, what led Norman to become, you know, the crazy guy that we know from Psycho. Right. So it, it's really like an homage, uh, but not a direct descendant of, of Psycho. Okay. And so you play the teacher. So how do you feel your role plays into that story? Well, I think, um, you know, I think Norman is a troubled kid. And we, we begin to see why as we watch the show. And I think that she is very well-meaning. And I think she recognizes that troubled kid I think she recognizes it as a teacher I think she recognizes it as a person and uh you know that kind of attention can be bad and good and and I think you know with a kid that's as, as vulnerable as Norman is that that there's certainly a very fine line for her to walk with him mm-hmm. okay and then on to once upon a time so how has that whole journey been for you I mean it's the story has sort of evolved tremendously over the past couple of years and how has that experience been for you on that show well, my goodness, you know, I remember going in when it was auditioning and I had a five-month-old baby and I was still sort of like, Wah, you know, and, uh, you know, you do the pilot and then you never know what's going to happen and then sort of have this arc that keeps going on has just been, it's just a great thing, especially for me with, with two small kids and mm-hmm. uh, it's really nice to be a part of something that turned out to be so big. It's what you really ask for, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it'll be really cool. I don't, I don't know if your kids are watching it, but I mean, for your kids to see their mother in a in a story that's about fairy tales, that's awesome. And, and it's something that's so fantastical. You know, you certainly are not going to come across it every day that you're going to play a magical fairy. No, it's definitely, yeah, it's definitely a one-of-a-kind role for sure. Yeah, let alone be fairy. <laughs> totally. I'm not just a fairy, I'm the fairy. I know, uh, pretty much you're Tinkerbell, right? Aren't you? I don't know that. Even if I did know, I certainly wouldn't tell you, but I honestly don't know. <laughs> I, I always... think that there are certainly lots of people who have wondered that. Yeah. And if, you know, even if I were not her, I would say that they would have a, you know, they would have some interaction, I would think. Yeah. So outside of those two shows, are, is there anything that you're, you're doing or what do you do for fun just to keep yourself sane or is it just focus on the kids? Well, you know, I, I do what I can, and I think you're always trying to ride the wave in this business. I just um, I booked this movie with Clive Owen and Juliette Binoche that I'm supposed to sh- start shooting in a couple of weeks called Words oh. and Pictures. So that's another, you know, those obviously high, up to Oscar award nominees. It's really totally. wonderful. Just uh, wonderful. You know, are you allowed to say what your role is in the movie or what the movie's about? They, they are both teachers at um, a fancy preparatory school, and I am also one of the teachers. Oh, very cool. Yeah, it was cool. It was an offer that they made me, and when I heard, you know, I was like, Clive Owen and Julia yeah. finished. Yeah, okay, I'll just <laughs> Oh, well, that's so exciting. And, and uh, you know, it's really been such a, a pleasure to watch your career grow over the past couple of years. I think I first met you at uh, one of the Vancouver Film Festival um, Red Carpet Awards. I think it was one of the Jet Set things. The and Jet Set Party. Yeah, I remember it. Yeah, yeah, and so just to see how things have really grown for you and how they, you know, you're just going to continue to take off is just fantastic. And, uh what people, what the listeners won't know is I, I actually ran into you on the street the other day and you looked amazing. And so what they see on TV and, and how you dress and everything is just amazing. So, um, you know, you're just as real in person as you are on TV. So, oh, well, thank you. That's so nice to say. And, and I appreciate all those good words. You know, I, I feel like I'm, again, I feel like I'm riding a wave right now and I'm excited to see where it goes as my kids start to get a little bit bigger and I can sort of open my eyes and look out at the rest of the world a little, a little further Then it's, it's nice to see the things that are on the horizon. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us today and best of luck with everything thank you so much I look forward to talking to you guys again Come on.